It is a pleasure and great honor for me today to be speaking here in front of our son and to tell you how proud I am to see my countrymen and women meet here in Omaha for the purpose of building a better community. Thank you. Uh, first of all, allow me to uh, introduce myself. I am Vincent Adroto. Uh, like many of you, I hail from our beloved country of Togo. I was born and raised in Lowell. Went to school and completed my high school diploma at the least at the Tokwe. After my high school diploma, I spent three years in the Army of Togo. After getting out of the Army, I completed my Bachelor in Mathematics at the University of Lowell. I then moved to the U.S. and completed a master and a Ph.D. in statistics at the University of Minnesota. I also got a certificate in public health from Harvard University. Wow. Certificate in Health Policy from the Robert Hood Johnson Foundation. I serve as the founding director of the Biostatistic Division at Meher Medical College in Nashville, Tennessee. I also serve as the director of research at Health Partner in Minneapolis. And I'm currently a Yamali consultant in statistics and data analytics. And I also teach data analytics at Columbia University and clinical statistics at the University of Chicago. Yeah. I have published more than 24 peer review articles in healthcare, education, in statistics and a book in statistics. Well, I am pleased to be here today to talk to you about leadership and personal development. Leadership is one of the most important topics in human science, but it is poorly understood. It is important for two reasons. First, leadership solves the problem of how we organize collective effort. Consequently, it is the key to how uh, to organizational effectiveness. With good leadership organization, such as government, community, corporation, University, hospital, and army thrive and prosper. Second, leadership implies the establishment of a vision. With a vision, a leader inspires a team of followers who buy into that vision. A leader with a vision can foresee the future and remain in the present. Indeed, a vision is a name and a dream and a path to which an employee, a mentee, want to share and follow. And I want to clearly state this. 
bad leaders perpetrate terrible misery on the people and the organization that they lead. It is quite clear for many of us here that leadership matters and is crucial and consequential for the success of organization and the well-being of employees and citizens. Another point I want to make today is that the personality of the leader affects the performance of the team. Therefore, who we are determine how we live. One question of interest is this. As a society, how do we make leaders? Well, leaders are born, but they are also made and self-made. Many in our communities, in the U.S., and even in this room, are leaders. And today, I want to take an opportunity to acknowledge some of them. Right here in Omaha, we have Marco Pueblo de Rock, who is leading our people around the team of leadership and entrepreneurship through the Global African Leadership Summit. We have Mark Ndan, who had a vision of creating a great financial holding with exclusively Togolese capital. We have right here in this room, Francis Amoven, who led the team to implement our Amento Code project. We have right here in Omaha, Foli Teko, alias Le Togolé Joubert, who built international recognized brands such as the Sexy Togolé and Makato Omiyabibri and recently founded Amo Afromaha with a long time friend to provide platform that celebrate and showcase the creativity and diversity of Africa through the AfroFest event right here in Omaha. We have Philip Bruce, who is a cyber security leader that also lead a non-profit organization right here in Boma. We have Clarion Sopo Kwasi, managing attorney at the Sopo Love Group, an Obama-based family business and immigration law firm, and president of the African Chamber of Commerce right here in Boma. We also have my good friend Daniel Agudi, who is a regional vice president at Wells Fargo in South Florida, <laughs> who leads more than 150 Wells Fargo branches. We have our own member, Dr. Larry Luxon Lapteggo, who has provided leadership at many nonprofit organizations to improve lives of millions of people around Africa and the U.S. We have our own president here, Abel Bobo, who has been leading our organization for years. He is the first of a great group who has to divide to divide. We have our own sister here, Madi Ekweheta, who is a public health expert provide leadership in public health to change the life of minority community in Minnesota. We have 
my good friend, Mr. Aja, Professor Aja Koisi, Koibi, who has always led the community in community development. We have our own Dr. Tata Kosi, who has a pastor, who is living in our community and showing the way that you can still get an education and continue to get it, despite your having a lot of degree. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we also have Alim Peli from New York, New York, uh, New, New Jersey, whose life story of tragedy, resilience, and success in education and business inspired, is inspiring many African and African American women in the US. I would like to point out that there are many more leaders that I did not mention here. If I had to mention everybody, I would not even finish the speech today because we have many. Finally, I want to point out that leaders have the responsibility to lead by example and to formally or informally mentor the next generation of leaders. <laughs> now, let's talk about personal development. <coughs> personal development typically refers to activities designed to improve one's talent, potential, employability, or even wealth. Personal development is important it is an important part of an individual growth and progression. By allowing us to explore key areas of improvement, personal development matters, as, as we cannot afford just to live our life day by day. It's not possible. We have to live with a plan. We have to think about the future. We have to have a vision for our all reasonable women always want to become better version of themselves or self over time. Therefore, it is important to have a vision for our life. We need to think about what we want to become in a few years from now and start taking the step and strategize about making it a reality. As you can see from my speech, Leadership and personal development matter. And both depend on one or another. Leaders always try to improve themselves and to be better leaders. As I conclude my speech today, I just want to leave you with one thought. One thought. I see a lot of smart people and leaders in this room. So, let's just make sure that when our history is written by our action and the impact that we made, we can be referred to as being among the best of our generation. God bless America. God bless our beloved country.